everybody. I'm Kathy Nichols and I'm so excited to be here at Stencil Girl to share some of my art making process with you. And I'm the artist who created the Storytellers Collection for Stencil Girl. And today I'm going to show you how I use these stencils to create a story of my own in my own painting. And the painting I'm going to be making uses a protagonist. That's how I like to create a little story, is to center it around um, someone who's going to move the story forward. And my character's name is Wonder Girl. We use these stencils. We're going to use um, the camping stencil and the love story stencil. And I'm going to show you how I use little aspects of these stencils to create an environment for this character. It's really fun and you can really break apart these different little flowers and details to add a lot of texture and environment to your own paintings. And we're going to use beeswax and caustic. We're going to be outside, so I might look a little bit cold and have on a lot of clothes and a hat, but I'll still be in there sharing the painting process with you. So let's go outside. Hey, here we are outside in my outdoor studio, and I'm using the Love Story stencil flower to create like a little tree that will be hanging over Wonder Girl in this image. After I've applied the wax to the stencil, I've fused it with the heat gun. And now I'm going to add a little tree from the camping stencil. It's this one here at the bottom. And I'm going to just align the stencil where I'd like it. And I'll be using some bright green wax, which is going to look so cool on the dark background. Heating up on my hot plate. This time I'm fusing the wax with the stencil already laid down. And this, I think, makes a much cleaner reveal when you take it off. And now that I've done that tree, I'm going to mix up a darker blue, another blue color, and I'm going to use the little bird from the Love Story stencil, and I'm just going to put that little bird right over the tree. So then I'm making a friend for Wonder Girl. Then I'm going to hand paint a couple of little leaves here, which gives a little bit of um, variety to the painting. And then I'm going to add over here on the right side a teal blue tree moon from my love story stencil as well and the little moon and stars from that stencil in white right here on the top. Mm. Now that I have this cool midnight background I've added Wonder Girl. Here she is maybe making a wish on a star and now I'm going to be etching into the different leaves of the tree giving some texture and relief to the wax. And then I'm going to use the bottom of the Love Story stencil to add some white flowers. And i got to set up the stencil and I just position it, paint the wax over it, lift it up and see what kind of flowers come out. Then I'm going to add some gold leaf to that flower right on the top. Then comes my favorite part of the painting process. I'm going to cover the whole painting with black oil paint. Just smear it all over there. Kind of scary. I don't know exactly what's going to happen after I rub it off. but. It kind of settles in the cracks and the crevices and the etchings that I've made, and I get a new and mysterious painting revealed after I rub it off. And this is what we end up with, Wonder Girl. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you learned a little bit about using the Storyteller stencils. And um, you can see more of my work at kathynichols.com. Nice to meet you all.